What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw hands. Now in the past I've made a video on drawing hands and I'll use footage from that video to explain the different parts of the hand and what each part does. And if you actually have trouble drawing the hand, you actually get a feel of the anatomy of the hand so that way you get a better visual of what you're drawing. So I'm gonna pull up footage from that video and then we can get started. Now a lot of beginner artists find hands to be a challenge and believe me, they are. The reason it's a challenge is because um, try to imagine the hand as like an octopus with only five arms. They can move in a whole lot of different directions. And another thing people struggle with is that the hand can also be viewed differently. Like the hand can be viewed like this, like this, like this, and so many more ways. So that's what I feel people struggle with when it comes to drawing hands. To me, it's a bit more challenging drawing it from reference, even though it does sound easier. But you struggle to try to match the same position of the hand. But that's what I feel people struggle with when it comes to drawing hands. So right off the bat, we got the thumb, which everybody knows because it's the only finger that's different from all the others. Uh, we got the index, the middle, the ring, and the pinky, like we learned this as kids. The index finger is the one you point with, the middle one you use to flick somebody off. The ring finger you put a ring on if you're getting married or whatever, or just have a ring on in general. And your pinky finger is the smallest. And down here you have the palm. And down here you have the palm. What the palm does for the hand is when you grip objects, it doesn't slide through your hand. Like say I wanna grip this marker. If the palm wasn't there, it will just slide right through it. Cause the palm acts like a kind of cushion to help you grip something without it sliding through your skin or possibly damaging it. Now here's here's an easier way of looking at it. I have a kneaded eraser which can function as like a little cushion or a palm actually, see? Helps you grip it just fine. So that's pretty much what the palm does. And then of course we have the wrist which I wear my bracelets on and my watch. Now right up here on each finger, right there where these lines are, those are called the phalanges or phalanx for singular. You know that we have joints for our arms and legs? These are kind of the joints on the fingers specifically. But one thing to pay attention to, since like I said, the thumb is kind of different from all the others because it's one of the smallest, it only has one phalanx. The, all the other ones have two phalanges. So when you bend one of these fingers, you can go in one, two, and three. Coming off of the base of the hand, the thumb can only go off of the hand and just bend once. The others can two more times. So that's pretty much everything that the hand can do. Also, this is a right hand. So right here is my right hand, and as you can see, the thumb. So what you're looking at right now is the skin part of my hand, and the thumb of my right hand is on the left hand side. However, if I flip it over, the hand that I have drawn here, the thumb is on the right hand side. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I struggled with this at one point too, and I also feel it's a mistake that beginner artists use when they're trying to draw hands, is that they misinterpret the placement of the thumb. Because like I said, it's the only finger that's different from all the others. So sometimes when you're drawing hands, you might misplace it. So it's going to end up on this side or it's going to end up on this side. So, so that's just something I want to throw out there to you guys because it's important to remember. But now that we're done talking about this, let's get started with actually drawing some hands. Okay, so the first hand that we're going to draw is a thumbs up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw sort of like a rectangular prism. And I'm going to make it isometric. Something like this. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to take this part of this rectangular prism and we're going to divide it into four pieces and those will be the fingers. Alright and then we can do the same thing with this other side as well, but we're not going to go all the way to the end. I'll explain why in a second, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, so right up here, compared to the rest of the hand, we're not going to see much of the other fingers. So we're going to curve up like so. And we're going to make a line coming back so it kind of loops around. Because when you're making a thumbs up, it's sort of like a fist in a way. So we want to make it look like that. We're going to do the same thing with the other fingers, but keep in mind we won't see as much like we do here. Okay, and then we're going to finish off the fingers by filling in these lines, the few hump shapes at the end. 
Okay, and then right up here, let's say like at the end of here, we're gonna begin to construct the thumb. And the way to do that is you can make sort of like a, like an upside down teardrop shape. looks like that and then we can connect this and we can connect the bottom part of here towards this part and sometimes it looks a little better if you curve you know this part here and then along this line here we're gonna construct the palm so all that is, is just two humps, like so. And then the other one can kind of curve around the finger. It's not necessarily gonna connect to the thumb. Or at least that's the way I like to draw it. So we're gonna keep it just like this. And then I'm just gonna add like a little like a circle here give it some sort of perspective like say the person that has this hand is like wearing a sweater or something or a wristband you know like the ones I wear so that's just something I want to draw in um, that's definitely an option it's totally up to you guys but that's just something that I want to add and there that's how you draw a thumbs up hand gesture so let's move on now this hand gesture is pretty much of a challenge to me. It's um, the way I'm holding my pencil, let's pretend we're viewing it from a different perspective. And the way I'm gonna draw it, it's not gonna look exactly how it is on camera right now. It's gonna look as if you're looking from like back here. So like you see me drawing on the paper like this and pretend your eye or at least the point of view would be somewhere in front of the paper on my desk here. So I'm gonna be drawing this hand gesture but at this point of view. So first off, I'm gonna start off with like a trapezoid shape, but I'm gonna make this side a little bit more like flat. Like say, when I say flat, I mean like, you see how this one is really angled? Cause when I'm drawing this kind of uh, hand holding a pencil type pose, I want the hand to be kind of sitting on a surface. So that's why this part will be flat. And then this will also be the wrist like we did over here. So I'm just gonna make that look into a curve. But we'll deal with that later, so we're not going to do much with this side. Okay, so a trapezoid shape. And then we're going to come down, make that same shape on the other side, but a little bit more narrow. Okay. And then we're going to also divide this shape into four pieces for each finger. Okay, and now for the top finger, that's going to be the one that's going to be holding the pencil. So we're going to curve up like so, and then we're going to come back down. And I know um, when I explain the different parts of the hand, there's going to be two phalanges on here. So here's one. The other one is going to be a little bit hard to see, but it's going to be somewhat right here. So... Just in case that doesn't confuse you guys, that's where the other one is. But when you're drawing this part, it doesn't necessarily have to come back to this line here. It can stop right here. Because these other, uh, these other fingers will be kind of covering it just a little bit. Just a little bit. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Okay. And then your other fingers just curve at the end here. Okay, and now we can begin to draw the pencil, which will overlap the shapes that we just drew here. So I'm just gonna draw in that. And also be sure to leave some space on this end so we can draw the thumb. Because you're gonna need the thumb to hold the pencil. So I'm just gonna quickly draw in a pencil. Uh, 
okay? And then keep in mind the thumb will be on this side, not this side, but this one. The thumb will be all. So the thumb is not necessarily going to cling on to the index finger, it's going to actually hold on to the pencil. So um, it's going to look like it's touching the index finger, but not exactly. So we're going to have it doing something like this, we're just going to construct a small portion of the thumb, but it's really touching the pencil. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly the way I have it here. You can actually make this portion a bit smaller. So it looks like it's clinging to the pencil and not the index finger per se. And then all these excess lines inside the pencil we can get rid of. Also in the index finger. And also you can, uh, you can also raise the index finger if you'd like. I'm just gonna raise it up just a little bit and then these fingers will stay the way they are because you know nothing else is happening to them but it's um, helping the index finger rest on the surface so that way the hand can write draw or do whatever with the pencil also you can alter some of the fingers so that it looks as if it's in perspective almost like this finger at the bottom that's actually the pinky so that one I can alter it so it looks a little bit shorter yeah, so that's looking more like a pinky finger. And this next one is the ring finger, so we can alter that shape as well. But you don't have to like exaggerate that too much because you know a lot of it won't be seen because it's because the pencil will be covering it up. So just keep that in mind. And then something extra that I want to do is I'm gonna add an arm just to help give some perspective. And then the pencil looks like it can be a little bit longer. And there you go. And there you go. That's how you draw a hand holding a pencil. And now we can move on. Okay, so the next hand that we're gonna draw is a gang sign. Something that looks like this. So that's what we're gonna draw here. So the first thing we're gonna start out with, we're gonna start out with a trapezoid. And make a curve for the wrist. I'm gonna make that into some sort of a box shape. Cause you know me, I like starting out with 3D objects when I'm drawing pretty much anything. This will be the right hand. What I just showed you earlier was my left hand, so the thumb will be on this side. What I'm drawing here would be the right hand, so the thumb will be on this side. So we're gonna construct a triangle on the side of this shape. Like so. And then we're gonna come off, bring it back up. Curve back down to the triangle and do that. And now we can make the fingers. So we're still going to divide this shape into four pieces, but one of the fingers we'll be making into a different position. So don't let that confuse you. So four pieces like so. And then the pinky finger will be coming off of this portion of this shape and coming off like that. The other fingers will stay the same. So I'm just going to sketch those in real fast. And if you want, I just elevated this finger just a little bit. Okay. And then for the pinky finger, I'm just going to elevate it. I'm just going to place it at an angle like so. Make the tip. And then come back down so it connects to our initial shape. And 
Okay, and now we're gonna alter this shape because that looks a little bit off. So we're gonna reposition this line as if it's over here or maybe somewhere in between, um, or maybe somewhere in between, but. But let's just place it somewhere like right here. Let's see what that looks like. So this will be the wrist. I'm gonna sketch like a small portion in right now. So we're gonna come off where we stopped that when we're drawing the pinky. Make it curve. And make the wrist. And so let me erase the rest of these lines so we can get a visual of what it looks like. Okay, so let's emphasize that shape just a little bit. Yeah, and that looks a bit more promising. And then we construct the rest of the wrist. And there we go, we got a gang sign. All right, and there's your gang sign. Now we can move on. All right, so the next hand that we're gonna draw is like a hand holding up two fingers. And we're gonna draw it at a front view so that way we can see the palm. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start off with a 2D shape instead, but we are gonna transform it into a 3D shape. So now we can take this shape and turn it into a 3D trapezoid. Okay, and then again divide it into four pieces. And now two of these parts for the fingers will be standing up, two of them won't. But first what we're gonna do is um, apply the thumb in place. So to make it easy, we're just gonna curve up. Then make it at an angle and curve down, making sort of a teardrop shape. And then we can curve this end just a little bit. Okay, and then we can come off the thumb here and begin to make two fingers. So two of them will be standing up like so. Alright, and then these other two fingers, we're going to begin to con uh, we're going to begin to follow these guidelines that we just drew. We're going to follow that and we're going to come off. And then this last finger doesn't necessarily have to go towards the end. You can make it just a little bit skinnier if you want. And there's something like that is what you should get. Okay, those are fixed now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come off the pinky finger and we're gonna come back down towards the wrist. Construct just a small portion of it. And then I'm just gonna add some lines for the hand. And then I'm just gonna do just a little bit more adjusting. Like this finger that's up here, we can have it come out like this. Yeah, and sometimes for this hand gesture, I just gotta make one or two more adjustments so that the, so that the entire thing looks as if it goes together. But yeah, that's how you draw that. All right, let's continue. All right, so the last hand that we're gonna draw is a bit more challenging than the one we did up here. 
we're gonna draw the hand as if it were squeezing like a squishy ball or something squishy let's just say a stress ball for now so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw the wrist and then I'm gonna make sort of like a hand fan shape you know so this line will come up straight and then this other line will end here so the thumb will be on this side the pinky will be over here okay and then we can begin to construct the ball but let's try not to get that confused with the fingers per se but we're gonna start off down here and work our way up so for the thumb I'm just gonna construct like a little isosceles triangle almost but it's gonna come past this line that we just drew and then come towards the end of the ball and instead of following this triangle here we're gonna make a curve so we're gonna make a curve coming off of this so we're gonna make a curve coming from the wrist towards our initial line here then making an inverted curve back towards the tip of the triangle and then from there we can construct the rest of the thumb holding the end of the ball if that didn't make sense then you have a visual and then right now we're just gonna jump the gun like by a lot by doing this and then the rest of the fingers lie somewhere up here so we're gonna take the remaining part of this initial shape and divide that into four pieces so we got half and then we got four now we can take um, those guidelines and put them into place so we got one finger two fingers three fingers and four So one is going to come off like so. And then phalange or bone coming off like so. And then and if you want, you can construct the rest of the finger to make that visible. Um, not all of them. Not all of the fingers that will be on this side won't show the way this one is. But definitely this one, you can have it like this or the way I just drew it. That's totally up to you. And now we can do the same thing with this next one behind it. Because that will be just a little bit visible. Not completely visible, but it'll still be there. But again, that's, an, that's something you can choose to add. Okay, and then the other two are pretty simple. I gotta do is draw the line in place and of course the pinky since it's the shortest one it's just a simple straight line like so and since we're drawing sort of like a stress ball or something the elasticity of it kind of spreads the fingers out just a little bit so to accommodate for that we're gonna take each so to accommodate for that we're gonna take each point where we started drawing the fingers and begin to make sort of like a ball shape like a rounded shape just for the ball And you can have it squished however much you want because you know a stress ball is you know a little bit like because you know a stress ball it's elastic when you stretch it it goes back to the way it was because you know a stress ball is kind of like because you know when you squeeze a stress ball it goes back to the way it was so you can make the hand look like it's squeezing it super tight or you can make the hand look like it's just casually gripping the stress ball so that's what I'm gonna do here. And the visibility of it will get shorter as we go towards the pinky. Like say, here we are at the pinky. And if anything, it can kind of overlap the pinky. So you can also consider that. See how it overlaps the pinky just a little bit? That's something you can also do. And then we have a big portion of the ball that we haven't drawn in yet. And that's something we can help, you know, emphasize the elasticity of it. Or try to convey to the viewer how tightly this hand is gripping the ball. You know, something like that. And then we're done. Also, I forgot to mention that you can also change this shape right here to something like this 
So you can have it the way I had it, or you can change it to this. That's that's definitely an option to you guys, but, but this honestly looks better. So that's how you draw a hand holding a ball. All right, so here's an overview of all the hands that we drew in today's video. I hope you guys did find the video useful, and if you did, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I pack my nigga like